All right. Um, ladies and gentlemen, there's a couple things I want you guys to uh, understand. Now, obviously, I believe, I believe that, um, that always simplifying is the easiest way to usually go about a problem. However, I want to explain something also to you because I, what I, another thing I want to do is just relate to through something that hopefully you guys are a little bit more familiar with. Again, if you guys look at my rules of exponents or the rules of radicals, when we're doing the quotient, when we're dividing two, as long as they have the same root, we can put them under that one root. So therefore, I can rewrite this as the square root of 54x to the fifth y cubed divided by 2x squared y. Now, the reason why I do this, yes, you could simplify the top and simplify the denominator. right? That's perfectly fine, and that's actually probably the preferred way I'd recognize it. The reason why I'm doing it like this is because you guys should be familiar with simplifying a rational expression like this, right? Because that's what your last test was on, was simplifying rational expressions. And if you were to do that, 54 divided by 2 is 27. x to the fifth divided by x um, squared is x cubed. And y cubed divided by y is going to be y squared. So you're left with that. Now you can also simplify that. So we say, all right, can I rewrite 27 as a product of a square number? 9 times 3. Can I rewrite x cubed as a product of a square number? Yeah. x squared times x. And then I have y squared. So now we just go through taking the square root of each of those terms. So the square root of 9 is 3. The square root of x squared is x. The square root of y squared is y. So what's left over? Oops, that's a y. What's left over is a 3x. So your final answer is 3xy times 3x.